Hi, my name is Nicole Sparks. My PhD research has been focused on developing a skeletal toxicity screen using human pluripotent stem cells. Human and animal populations are experiencing a rapid increase in exposure to environmental toxicants in the form of pharmaceutical drugs, industrial byproducts, alcohol, tobacco, and a number of other drugs not properly tested. Because organismal development occurs in a relatively short amount of time, embryos are highly susceptible to the adverse effects of a compound and it can lead to a birth defect. Traditional toxicity methods relies on, the multi on a great multitude of animals. This makes the test costly, lengthy, and brings forth ethical challenges due to the sacrifice of animals. Cell-based in vitro methods have the capability of repeat, replacing traditional toxicity methods. The embryonic stem cell test is the most promising test to assess a compound's toxic potential in vitro. Historically, the test was based on mouse embryonic stem cells' ability to survive and differentiate while in the presence of the test compound. However, there are drawbacks to the test due to the high risk of false negatives due to species-to-species -species variability. The thalidomide disaster of the 1960s demonstrates how drug response can vary due to species. Initially, the drug was tested on rodents and then deemed safe for women to use while pregnant. However, later it was linked to limb limb defects in newborns. This demonstrated the need of a human-based model in vitro to identify and predict toxicants. Human embryonic stem cells are a great tool to study development because they can differentiate into all cell types of the body, including the bone-forming osteoblasts. For the past few years, I have been developing my in vitro model using osteoblasts developed from human embryonic stem cells and testing them with compounds. However, human embryonic stem cells poses its own ethical challenges because of its derivation. So I've extended this assay to include human-induced pluripotent stem cells. When testing both cell lines, differentiating into osteoblasts with 5-fluorouracil and retinoic acid, classically known toxic compounds, both cell lines show this same response to the drug inhibition of osteoblast production, and an inhibition in cell viability. Furthermore, preliminary studies are showing that this human-based model is more predictive than animal or mouse-based models. So our approach show, is promising for a robust and simplistic alternative method to predict toxicity, and it aligns with IFER's strive for ethical science. Thank you.